Hey guys, welcome to Destin Learning's mini course series. This is a completely free series. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to start a virtual machine on the Azure cloud and how to connect to it from your desktop or from your, in this case, from your Mac machine. So let's get started. In this screen, I've logged into Microsoft Azure portal and in this portal, I'm right now selected my virtual machine as shown up here. I have various settings available. I can connect to it, but first I need to start it. So I'm going to click on the start button. Do you want to start? Yes, I do. So this is going to take a couple of minutes. And uh, in the meantime, you can look at this and it'll tell you, oh, it was shut down last time. And then it says, oh, when did it start the last time? But if you notice that this one still says that still doing something to the machine right now, right after the machine has started, we would get a notification saying that, yes, I've started. We'll wait for that for a minute and then we'll try to connect to it. There you go. I just got the notification saying that the successfully started virtual machine at 4.43 p.m. And same thing. So at this point, you will notice that the start button is turned on, means that I can stop it anytime I want. Though the machine status says it started, doesn't mean that I can connect to it immediately. It's gonna take a couple of minutes for me to connect to it for Windows servers to come back up completely and the services for terminal services is connected. So I'm going to give it a couple of minutes, but in the meantime, I'm going to see if I can connect to it just to see what happens. So I'm going to search for the remote desktop. Oh, by the way, the, the quick launch is command space bar in the Mac. You can type it anytime in any window and it starts up the spotlight search. I use it a lot. So I'm going to start searching by R-E-M-O-T-E, remote desktop, and it picks it up. There we go. So I'm going to select, double click on that, launches my Microsoft remote desktop screen. This Microsoft desktop screen, which we have, is the latest one. You need this. It's the version 8.0.25. This is what you need to connect to the Azure machines. So if you have not updated it, it's time for you to update your virtual machine. Uh, connection, uh, remote desktop connector. Sorry about that. So I'm going to try to double click on this. It launches my window. I'm going to see what happens you notice that the connecting is taking a little longer. It means that it's trying to connect to it. It's not able to connect and gives me an error message saying, or an alert message saying, unable to connect to remote PC. I'm gonna say, okay, wait for it. Give it a couple of minutes and then try it again. All right, I waited for a few minutes. I'm gonna try this again. Double click on that link. Now I'm connected, showing me a different message saying that, hey, my your certificate does not verified by your root certificate. Do you want to continue? I say yes, because I know this is a machine which I created and I'm connecting to a machine which I know of. So I'm going to click on continue. Once it negotiates the credentials, it asks me to re-enter my password. Uh, that's because my password recently expired and I had to change it. So Azure asked me to double check my password. So I'm going to enter if I can remember it correctly. Hold on. Uh, it's uh, Oh, there we go. It went through. I did remember my password. And uh, once it's done, now you can start seeing the beautiful blue from the Windows Server. It logs me in and brings up the, the desktop for the Windows Server 2012 R2. This is an Azure machine running on the Azure Cloud. Even though it is an Azure machine right now, it looks like a regular desktop for me. I had my regular start, which is responsive. And I got my regular icons, which also is responsive as my mouse is moving along. That's it, guys. It's as easy as that. So in this episode, we went over how to start and connect to a server on the Azure Cloud. This episode is part of the mini series from DestinLearning.com. So visit DestinLearning.com where you would find many free courses and resources to enhance your skill set. Feel free to comment or ask a question. A member of a staff or I will respond to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.